Welcome back to Farage with me, Martin Dorby. Now, Donald Trump is back in court today for the resumption of his New York hush money trial. And the judge in the case is considering four more alleged violations of Mr Trump's gag order today after fining him $9,000 for nine breaches on Tuesday. The judge has also warned the former president he could face jail if he persists in bad-mouthing key participants. Well, to explain everything that's been happening and what to expect next, I'm delighted to be joined by Cash Patel, author of the book Government Gangsters. He's also a previous federal public defender and a former chief of staff to the acting United States Secretary of Defense under President Donald Trump. Wow, what an impressive CV you have, Cash. So today, Donald Trump came out ahead of the trial and he said, what a ridiculous show trial this is. He called it a Biden trial. What happened next? Well, I think one of the most shocking revelations, it's great to be with you, is that a central witness for the prosecution, our equivalent of the Crown Prosecution Services, was the lawyer to one of the women that was alleged to have received a hush money payment. And on the witness stand during the examination, he actually stated that the money that transferred from him to his client was not a hush money payment. This is much akin to going into a bank robbery case and having the uh, witness identify the person sitting next to you as the actual culprit and not the one charged with the crime. So they're scrambling a little bit there because this has been built as a hush money trial for silencing other people and their star witness just said that's not what happened. And of course, Cash, Donald Trump also um, allied to the fact that he went to a packed rally in Michigan, Wisconsin. He was actually a, allowed to go and campaign. And he very clearly said that this show trial, it the timing of it is specifically designed to keep him from being able to campaign. The timing is everything, he said. Yeah, so the timing of this courtroom is going to take four to six weeks, but every Wednesday they have off per the judge's schedule. So Donald Trump is masterminding and uh, orienting his campaign calendar to maximize how he can get out to the country. Michigan and Wisconsin are key battleground states. And when he's out there, he's talking about the things that are happening in the courtroom. You mentioned the uh, contempt proceedings that caused a $9,000 charge for Donald Trump. You know, there is a rule in New York which says if you are a judge in the state of New York, and any one of your relatives makes money indirectly from a prosecution or case being presented before you, you must recuse. This judge's daughter has made tens of millions of dollars from the information pouring out of his courtroom, and he refuses to recuse, and then he attacks Donald Trump's constitutional right to free speech. So what I think you see President Trump fighting for is not just his freedom of speech rights, but he's taking that on the campaign trail and say, they're doing this, you're next. And of course, it's a rigged system of justice and... I happen to agree with the president. And Cash Patel, briefly, if we could, he also re referred to the college protests going on across America. He called these people radical left morons who want the country to fail, and we will not allow this. We're not going to allow the country to fail. These people are picking the side of a pro-terrorist organization rather than picking the side of America and being with our allies in Israel, and we cannot have that. Currently, Americans and Israelis and others are being held hostage by this organization, and I don't, and Donald Trump doesn't support any movement uh, for war that uh, is pro that. Cash Patel, an absolute delight to speak to you. Thank you for joining us on The Farage Show. Excellent to speak to you. Thank you.